Hello everyone, welcome to Microsoft Excel Intermediate course. In this lesson, we will work on the data improvement, how to improve our data, how to make a good, get a good quality of our data using the default tricks which is available here on the Excel. First of all, as you see guys on the on the screen, we can type any kind of data here, but as you see that we get the wrong results. So how to prevent a user to from entering the wrong data? So in this case, we are doing some simple tricks uh, which can guide the user to insert the proper data in our uh, list. So we are jumping to the first method. First method is just clicking on the data tab. From the data tab, we are coming to the validation data validation command. As we press here, as you see here that any value is selected. We have multiple choice here, but uh, we are going to work on the list. I, if you work on all of these, that will take more time, more the video will get long. In this case, we are going to work on the only list. Just I'm pressing the list. First method is to just manually type list here on the source field. In this field, we can type the entire data. As you see, we type all the data here, item one, two, three, four, up to four. Now I'm pressing the OK, it will get the proper result. As you see, we find a drop down list here. We can choose from here, anywhere we can do. We can change the data here. As you try to type the wrong value, we will get a notification here that we are not allowed to insert any kind of data here. We, as you try, try again, that will not give the result. So we can simply press the cancel button here. Then we can get the proper data. Now the user is restricted to insert the wrong value. This is one method. Second method is the same. As you see, we ha already have the type here, type list here, just to say that this is containing five because here this is containing four. We will work on it, why it's five and why it's four. First of all, we are again coming to the same uh, selection. The range is selected. Now I'm, I'm going to uh, data validation. Again, the list is selected here. We are not going to manually type this data. So we are going to select a list which is already typed. Press this uh, tiny button here. We will be guided to a Excel sheet. Now we are going to select this list which is containing the five at the end. Now again we will click on this tiny arrow. Uh, we this list source is selected here. We are going to press the OK come button here. Now it's effect. As you see guys again we got the drop down list on all of the cells. As we click on on every cell we get the drop down list here. Now I'm going to press on this drop down. As you see this time the five is available here which is not uh, working for us. Our goal is the four. How to correct it? Simply, we can come here and modify our list from five to four. As we modify, look, here is a five, but as we check the drop down list again, this time we got the four because we modify the list here. You can modify the list. This is the easy trick. Now we are going to jump to the other part of this lesson. The other part is the removing the duplicates from the list of the data. How it works? The duplicate, when we apply the duplicate, this check all these rows, all these columns, all these cells, then it compare and duplicate the data for us. First of all, as you see, I'm going to click here and select all this range coming to the duplicate command. As you press the duplicate command, the small dialog box is pop up. It asks me expand the selection. As I expand the selection, it will check all these data. Data. It will check all this data. Then it will find the duplicate and will remove. First of all, we are doing the this action. Remove the duplicate. It trace the four columns here. Yes, this is the stock date, quantity, price. All the columns are traced. Now I'm pressing the okay but it will be accepted yes 15 duplicate value found and removed five unique value are remain okay as you see guys here four two one two three but here here is the item two item two what is the reason why these two are remain here because 
these two are on the quantity column they have the difference this is the 113 and this is the 122 this is the reason if these two are same and these two are same and these two are same then it will remove for us this is one method now i'm going to press the control z from the keyboard to uh, reform the data now we are going to work simply i'm selecting this column in this column as i press on the duplicate and this time i'm going to select the second option when i select the second option this will only affect this column not affect the other column i'm going to select this time we will just have the item two once not two times remove duplicate item one it says only one column i say yeah this is no problem it's okay 16 duplicate is found as there was a message you can read the message as you see one two three four four color four unique data are left the rest of data is removed so guys that was the easy step of this lesson uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up it will support us and share our video to your friends and have a good day